Hi, my name is Rosemary Guthrie and I just want to show you another quick tutorial on how I achieve hair colouring basically. Um, I've got made up a little card on how to do black, my grey, like a brownie hair colour, a red or of a ginger and a blonde. Okay, you can see on each of these they've actually got the highlights, so I just want to show you how I actually achieve those highlights. Okay, first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do one with ginger hair colouring, and I'm going to be using three colours. First colour I'm going to be using is chestnut, my medium tone I'm going to be using burnt orange, my lighter tone I'm going to be using ginger. So taking my darkest colour, I always tend to start with my darkest first, nice gentle light handed strokes all I'm going to do you can see where the dark lines are in this stamped image from gorgeous girls I'm just going to go over some of them just with my darkest tone and this is just going to represent where the darkest areas of the girl's hair is going to be you can see there's not too many there I'm not going to go over the top I just want some highlights because we all know our, co our hair colours aren't all the same so now I'm going to use my medium tone which you can see is burnt orange and I'm going to go over some of the areas again into the neckline down to the end okay, but I'm going to leave some of the areas you can see here in white basically that's because I want some highlights in her hair just imagine that the sun's shining and I just want it to pick the light so it's a flowing image okay so that's going over some of those and again I'm going to be leaving some white areas. So now I'm going to use my lightest tone which is ginger and using the ginger I'm going to be going over every part of the hair and what this will do this will blend the colours in. I have to apologise for that ding that was actually my mobile phone which my husband's just taken out of the room for me. Um, sorry about that. Bad timing. I'm just going to be going over the darkest tone and the medium tone and pulling it all in to the lightest areas now hopefully you can actually see let's just do it across the hair like, you can actually see that her hair has got different shades in it from the darkest shades through to the mid-tone and into the light taking my blender pen as a final what I'm going to do is on some of these lighter areas I'm just going to do a couple of off strokes and what this does is alcohol in the blender pen just totally clear dries that you can strip some of the colour back out okay so that's my ginger girl I'm going to show you the three colours that I use to create a red hair colour uh, my darkest tone I'm going to be using is burgundy and it's exactly the same all I'm going to do is use burgundy which is my darkest tone nice light strokes of the pen into the hairline under the neck And all that's going to do is just give an image of the darkest area of the girl's hair. Again, not too many. Taking a medium tone, going over some of the darker areas that I've already done. Over some of the white areas. Into the neckline. Obviously the neckline is going to be in shadow. There's going to be more darker areas in there. You'll find there's no right or wrong way to do this. Every image that we colour is going to be totally different you actually find there's lots of tutorials on YouTube that you can follow I'm only sharing the preferences that I use okay, my, my light tone now is my poppy all I'm going to do is go over all of her hair now using the poppy and that's going to blend all these three colours together now there's going to be no gaps no white hair left and that's going to blend it all in and it's going to give you some areas where the hair is very, very light. But this will actually blend all three colours and it will give an overall effect to the hair. Taking my blender pen, I just want to take some of the colour out in random places. Especially where you can see, they, they're sort of telling you from these stamps where they want the lightest areas to be. So I'm just going to concentrate some of my pen over there taking some of this colour out so hopefully you can actually see 
I turn this round. I hope I've kept it in focus on the camera. Please apologise. Well, please accept my apologies if I haven't. But I'll give you an idea of how I do my colouring for a ginger and a red hair colour on these lovely gorgeous stamps. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.